Pisces and welcome to weekly tarot forecast for this week, June 29th, guys. We have that really powerful solar eclipse, all those planetary alignments. Also, happy 4th of July for those of us in the United States. The energy is going to really build in July, guys. And I'll talk more about that in the July readings and Mars' movement. But just so you know, take a deep breath, ground out, try your best to detach from media a bit and listen to your own voice because your own divine guidance, your own psychic ability, your ability to trust your gut is going to be imperative in the months to come. Now this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, so please be sure to check all three. And if this is your first time watching me, thank you so much. I hope it serves you. If it does, please like, subscribe, comment down below, or just share it with somebody you feel this can serve. All right, Pisces, let's get started. And a theme for the week. Point of theme. Now we guys have the Fool, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Swords, Change Your Life card, Queen of Coins, and the World. The theme of this week is the Ten of Wands, Divine Guidance, and the Six of Swords. All right, Pisces, let's get into it. There is going to be a lot of movement for you this week. I'm really loving what I'm seeing with the water signs. When you have the Fool, there's not just a lot of unexpected opportunities that are going to kind of pop up a little haphazardly, but very much in synchronicity as you take action in your life, especially when it comes to your passions, your pursuits, and your relationships. Now, you have the page of cups and the knight of wands right on top of the fool this talks about taking leaps of faith when it comes to building new relationships kind of getting back out there in the social sphere taking action on what you're really really passionate about because you have the nine of swords and the world it's time to, to get past those fears guys when it comes to building the relationships in the future that you want pisces this week is all about thinking outside the boxes alternative approaches because there's been a lot of mental burnout, even energetic burnout, because you're thinking way too much, worrying way too much, shoulda, coulda, woulda, maybe. They're not real. Yes, I understand why you would do those things. It's a human nature to do those things. But when you put too much energy into the fearful thoughts, into the negative thinking, into the what ifs, and unless those what ifs are positive, you begin to create your own blocks to your own happiness and opportunity. This week, it's beginning to open up and you're going to have this surge of energy to push forward. Not just that, people are going to be coming into your life, if not at least one person to help get this started, whether it's coming in as a sort of support, Page of Cups could absolutely be a friend. It is a soulmate energy, but it's somebody who reflects back to you your worth, you know, who you are. You know those people, those friends you hang out with, and you're like, oh my gosh, I love this energy. This is so me. I feel so alive. I feel heard. I feel loved. And this is the kind of energy that's coming in. Now, it can also be a romantic partner, but regardless, it's a soulmate energy. Soulmates can be romantic or platonic. On it, but you need this Pisces. You need the emotional support to get you motivated. Now, normally I'm all for what self motivation. The thing is, this mental block that you've been kind of experiencing, this person's kind of boom, get you over the hump to kind of get you started. You're going to notice that you feel this passion to get things going, to go after it. People might be like, whoa, who is this person? You were totally afraid to do this. And now you're already at that location making moves. I love the Knight of Wands because he's. Don't look at gender here, but it's a very courageous energy, a very brave energy. And that's what you're doing. You're making moves you haven't made. You've been sitting on it, maybe thinking about it, worrying about it. And you're doing it. You have the Nine of Swords, like I said, with the Change Your Life card. You're done allowing those thoughts to 
cause you to procrastinate, to sabotage, to lose opportunities. You are going to embrace it now. There's some kind of epiphany that's taking place that's saying enough. And I have a feeling it's going to come through this person. Now, this can be somebody you already know. Page of Cups tends to be a new person. But maybe it's someone who's stepping up. Maybe it's a sibling, a best friend. It can be a partner. But someone who's stepping up and saying, look, I see you. Go for it. You need this. And what's beautiful about this is that when you have to change your life card, this has to do with your path. Archangel Shamuel has to do with your purpose in this life. And you're going to break free of those procrastinating tactics. You have the Queen of Coins with the World card here. I'm going to get a Clarity card just to see if this has to do with moving. But let me just, let me see really quickly. Clarity on this. and the sun. Okay, so queen of coins, the clarity card is the nine of wands on, and the sun. There might be some changing to your living situations or changes to how you live, Pisces. You might be changing like, you know what, you could either be investing in a new space or investing in the space you already have to make it what you want. Your, your living space is very important to how you attract, whether it's cluttered, do you feel safe, do you feel like a haven, do you hate being there? Do you know what I'm saying? The world card is a completion of a project. There needs to be an elevation, not just in your pursuits, but in your standard of living. Now, I'm not talking just about money. This is habits, cycles, things that keep you stuck in like a low vibe energy. So you're going to be changing it up. You might be financially investing in your home, in a new space, sprucing things up, things that have long-term payoff in some regard there needs to be movement there needs to the stag the stagnant energy within you is always going to be reflected outside of you and that's going to be changing as well the theme of the week is the ten of wands divine guidance and the six of swords guys the worst is behind you there is a lot of movement however you were Whatever mental space, your energetic space as well, you guys could have been felt really burnt out. When you have the Ten of Wands, you're overworking. Could this be over hours at work? Yes, absolutely. But sometimes it's just too much on your plate, even mentally, and that causes burnout. When you have the Divine Guidance card, they're saying, look at there is a better way to go about this. And someone is going to be stepping up, the Page of Cups, to help you see a very devil's advocate, help you see it from an objective standpoint in order to offer you an alternative approach. And it's going to help you break free. You kind of need this. When you have the Six of Swords, this is about moving out of that difficult situation. It's also about physical movements. I think there are some Pisces here that are going to be changing locations. Maybe you want to move back home to save money to buy that house, or maybe you actually want to buy that house. Maybe you want to, you know, I don't know, invest in some kind of real estate or property, but there is definitely going to be some movement here for you, Pisces. I feel you really need to make those choices so that you can be in a good space to live that kind of life you want. Sometimes, especially if we're in a space that's very stressful, it's very difficult to shift. It's kind of like bathing in dirty water. You know what I'm saying? No offense to anybody, but this is a card of relocation. So a lot of Pisces out there might be relocating houses or even houses for the sake of their jobs um, or this passion and pursuit, whatever this nine of one is, you're taking action about something you really care about. And that can be a cause. That can be your work. Or that can just be, I want to you know, live a sustainable life, I'm going to buy real estate, build my own little home. I can give you examples for days. But Pisces, you are stepping onto a brand new path with a lot of unexpected blessings along the way. All that's required is you to move. You must take action and everything's going to start to line up in a very synchronistic way. And you're going to get out of your own way, especially mentally. And the support that you need to do so is coming in this week, guys. I really hope this serves you. If you like a more in-depth tarot session, a soul reading, a healing session, my link is down below. Otherwise, guys, congratulations, Pisces. Be courageous. Be brave. Go for it. You're worth it. Enjoy this week. Have a beautiful solar eclipse, guys, and I will see you next week for next week's reading. Take care.